Hi everyone, it's Tree. How are you doing today? I hope you're having a good and crafty day. Um, first, I'm going to say that this video is not intended for anyone under the age of 18. If you are under the age of 18, please be respectful and just go watch a video that is targeted for your age group. Thank you very much. So, you guys saw me. I made my um, crocheted hearts out of this fluffy, soft heaven of a yarn from Bernat, the baby velvet. Um, this one is actually in Pink Mist, and from that video, a lot of people asked me to show you how to make them. Um, I'm going to say that I am no way at all an expert in crocheting. I have been crocheting for a number of years, and I've had to take many a refresher course here on YouTube. Thank you, YouTube crocheters. And um, these hearts are really simple and easy and there are a number of tutorials out on YouTube that you could probably go visit and they would do a better job. Um, I'm going to attempt, because you guys asked, I will attempt to do this. Um, like I said, I'm not an expert and it's hard for me to like count or keep track of, you know, my ADD. Um, I, so, We'll see how I do, but I'm going to tell you that um, every every skein of yarn you get, if you flip over the back, will have these instructions, and it will tell you this is for the this pink yarn that it is a number four medium yarn, and if you're knitting, see it has the two needles. You this is the um, needles that you would use for that. And if you're crocheting, this is the hook you would use. And it's a US H or a size 8. And then they have all these other numbers that I don't know what they are. But you get your needle and you will see. Here it says size 8 or H. Now these are my mom's crochet hooks. And um, it's really fun and interesting because I have some that... Like it says right here, um, 15 cents. <laughs> I have some that say like 10 cents and stuff like that. Anyway, we're moving on. Okay, so I want to make sure most of the yarn comes like these oblong um, skeins. And there's always a tail end that wraps around the yarn. And there's always one that comes from the center and you really want to pull the one from the center and that'll keep you from getting tangles and things like that um so i take about a four to six inch length because i like to have my little ties here at the end um and you need to make a slip knot or a magic circle magic ring magic circle um many Great crocheters will tell you to this one over that one and pull through and hook with your... Uh, anyway, I my mom just taught me to do a slip knot and we would just wrap it around our finger and pull our finger out and tuck it in and make a single bow. It would basically be a knot if I were to tie a knot down here. I would just pull it through and tie the knot. But you're not going to grab the end, you're going to leave the loop and make the bow. Okay? Hopefully I didn't confuse you right off the bat. I am going to zoom in because crochet you need to see what I'm doing. And I don't want it blurry. I'm going to try very hard to stay in screen, but um, there we go, I'm off already. Okay, so when you start to crochet, you're going to do chains. They were, were blurry. I don't know why. Excuse me while I focus on that. Okay. So a chain is you just, you have your loop that you just created and you're going to yarn over and pull it through. That's a single crochet or a chain. That's a chain. So for this heart, we're going to chain 
two, we're doing the little ones. So chain one, chain two. And then if you think about it, you're gonna start up here and work our way down narrow and then work our way back up. Ooh, that was, that's right, I said down here. Okay, so. See right off the bat, I gotta start all over. <laughs> This might be a lengthy video. Maybe I'll figure out how to um, edit too. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna chain one, chain two. And then we're gonna yarn over one, go through that circle, yarn over, pick up a yarn. Now we've got one, two, three yarns on here. We're gonna yarn over, now we've got four. We're gonna pull through two, now we're left with two and we're gonna yarn over and pull through two. That is called a double crochet. A single crochet, you would just yarn over, or no, you would just, it, it, we're, we're not gonna confuse you. Okay, double crochet, so that's one. We need three. So yarn over, go through the circle, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. That's two. Yarn over, go through the circle, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. Okay, now we need a half double crochet. So we're gonna yarn over just like the double crochet, go through the circle just like the same, yarn over, and we still have the same three loops. We're gonna yarn over and we're gonna pull through all three of them at once. And that's a half double crochet because it starts out as a double crochet, same as a double crochet, but you're only doing half, you're not going to Yarn, you got it, right? Yarn over, go through the loop, yarn over, and pull through, oh, yarn over again, pull through all three, okay? Yarn over, go through the loop, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull through all three, that's three. Um, I don't like to get too close to my loop here, my knot here, so I, that's why you keep seeing me cinching it down. So now I'm gonna yarn over and chain one, yarn over, I'm gonna do a double crochet, go through the circle, pull it through, yarn over, pull through one, two, and pull through two. And then we're gonna chain one again. Okay, that's, you, you can kind of see it. it. It's half the heart. Ah, but we're working upside down. So, now we're gonna yarn over, go through the circle, yarn over, and pull through all three, because that's the half double crochet. Sorry, I got this a little tight. <sighs> I've never done this one. <laughs> okay, so, yarn over, go through the circle, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull through all three loops, that's two, yarn over, go through the circle, yarn over, pull it through the circle, yarn over, pull through all three loops. So that's three. Oh, no, 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 I messed up. So we're gonna rip these three out. I am so sorry, people. Okay. Okay, so it's the chain two, three double crochets, three half double crochets, chain one, a double crochet, chain one, and you just gotta work the reverse, and I didn't work the reverse. No, I was doing it right. Yes, I was doing it right, I'm so sorry. Ugh. Should I do it again? Okay, so we're gonna yarn over, through the circle, yarn over, pull all the way through, half double crochet. Yarn over, into the circle, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull through all three, half double crochet, that's two. Yarn over, in the circle, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. Okay, now we're gonna work the top. So, yarn over, through the circle, yarn over, pull through the circle, 
yarn over, pull through two loops, because we're doing a double crochet, yarn over, pull through two loops. Haha, <laughs> back on track. Yarn over through the circle, yarn over, pull it through the circle, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, so that's two. Yarn over, go in through the circle, yarn over, pull through the circle, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, that's three. Now we need to do two, chain two, one, two, and then to tie them off, sort of, you go in the circle, you yarn over, and you pull that through that loop. Okay, so that's kind of tying it off, but not really. I pull this through to however long I want it. I try to make it about the same as this, but we're gonna pull that, anyway. And then my mom's old scissors, snip that. This one will just come pulling out. And then this yarn, you pull and cinch it to close it up tight. Now, this, I used a large needle and I used a thicker yarn. So now you're seeing the circle. And then right here, I tie a knot, a double knot. And then that way I can use these to decorate things with. Um, yeah, wrong direction. So there's the small one. And we'll do the large one. All right, are we ready for this? It starts out the same. Oh, wait, I'm going to zoom back in. Okay, so we're going to have our length and we're going to make our loop. So we're going to wrap it around our finger, pull out our finger, and tuck that this thread through yarn and then pull on that loop to make a loop. I hope you've got that. Um, I'm gonna leave my magic circle um, open quite a bit. Normally I wouldn't, and I'm gonna chain three. So yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, and yarn over, pull through, that's chain three. Now, there's the single crochet, the double crochet. Oh wait, the single, the half double, the double and the treble. So the treble you yarn over one, two. I let go of my circle. Yarn over two, go through the circle, yarn over, pull through the circle, and you have one, two, three, four loops. Yarn over, pull through two. Now you have three yarn over, pull through two. Now you have two, yarn over, pull through two. And that's a treble. We need three of those. So yarn over, yarn over. I might be zoomed in too much, hold on. Here we go, yarn over, yarn over. Go through the circle, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. That's two. So yarn over, yarn over, go through the circle, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Yep. I got an extra little yarn, so I gotta go get rid of that one. There we go. Yarn over, pull through two. Oh, why am I playing on the screen? All right. So that is one, two, three. So now we're going to yarn over, go into the circle, yarn over. We've got the three, we're going to do a double crochet. So yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. That's one. Yarn over, through the circle, yarn over, come out the circle, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. That's two. Yarn over, into the circle, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, my yarn's not coming out. And I did something with my 
magic circle that I'm losing my tail. <laughs> so, one, two, three trebles, one, two, three doubles. Okay? So we're going to yarn over and do a chain, one chain. Yarn over, yarn over, we're going to do a treble. In the circle, yarn over, pull through. We've got four yarns on here. Yarn, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. And yarn over, pull through the last two. That's a treble. So we're going to do another sing, uh, chain, single chain. And now we're working back. So we got to do the double crochets. So yarn over through the circle, yarn over, pull it through the circle, yarn over, go through two, uh, where am I? Two loops, yarn over, two loops. Yarn over into the circle, yarn over, pull it through the circle, yarn over, pull it through, where am I? Pull it through two and yarn over and pull it through two. So that's now two double crochets. And I keep hitting the yarn over, go through the circle, yarn over, pull it through the circle, yarn over through two loops, yarn over two loops. So that's now two double crochets. Now we need three trebles. Okay. I'm all over the place. Sorry. Yarn over, yarn over, go into the circle, yarn over, pull it through the circle, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over, pull through two loops. Sorry, I'm fighting my magic circle that is cinching up on me, <laughs> or loosening up on me. So that's one. Yarn over, yarn over, Go into the magic circle, yarn over, pull it through the magic circle, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over, pull through two loops. So that's now two trebles. Last one, yarn over, yarn over, go through the circle, yarn over, come out the circle, yarn over, go through two loops, Yarn over, go through two loops, and yarn over, go through two loops. Guess what? We're gonna chain three. Yarn over, pull through the loop. Yarn over, pull through the loop, and yarn over, pull through the loop. We're done. So what we're gonna do is go into the circle, yarn over, and pull it through the loop. Then I pull that through. Snip it off, pull this back to the yarn, and then this one we tug, and it makes a heart. And then I knot it. If you don't want to knot it, if you just want a heart, then I take a smaller crochet hook. Ooh, sorry, I'm. Then I take a smaller crochet hook and I just weave it through. Um, find one. Okay, so then I would just take the thread, go through, and then pull it through here and weave it in and out, and then you wouldn't see it. But I like the length, and I like to be able to tie it on things, so I'm going to feed it back through. All right, so that's how I make the large and small, um, crochet hearts. I think there's one larger than this, but I have never made it. Either that or there's one smaller than this. <laughs> I think that it's larger because, I mean, I don't know what else you could do. I mean, double and single maybe. No, I don't think so. Anyway, um, I think that these, for me, are easier to do with this, and for that I used a much smaller hook. Um, I don't remember which one I used, but I did use a smaller hook, so that made my, um, yeah, I don't have one to compare, so that made my 
my heart's a lot smaller. So you could use the same um, yarn and choose a smaller hook. Ooh, that's way too small. Uh, I don't know which one I chose. So, oh, I don't know. We'll try it. This is this is already twenty minutes long. I just um, let me try to make a small one. So, yarn over chain two. So, double crochet. One double crochet. I can't see what I'm doing. So yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, that's two double crochets. And three double crochets. And then we need the half double, half double one, half double yarn over, half double two, yarn over, half double three, single crochet, then a double crochet, no that wasn't single, that was a chain, chain one, double crochet, chain one, ah, I lost it, that's the problem with going to a smaller needle is then you hard to hold on to. So pull it through. Oh, there's my dog. <laughs> he hears. So it's Thursday and the street fair is going on out there and you hear people. So yarn over, half double crochet, yarn over, pull through all three. Mackay quit. Yarn over, pull through all three. That's three. And then we need double crochet. <sighs> nope, I didn't even get a yarn. <laughs> tricky, tricky, tricky. Okay, I'm gonna pull that down. Okay, so yarn over, yarn over, two loops. Am I in screen for you guys? can't seem to get this. There we go. Yarn over. Yarn over. Pull through two and two. That's two. One more. Yarn over. It's getting a lot of tension. two and two and chain two and in this circle pull it through and pull it through the loop without losing any of those strands I did it believe it or not pull that through and cinch that up. So, a smaller hook makes a smaller heart. Smaller yarn, smaller hook, smaller heart. But when you're starting out, you want to start out with... So, see how much smaller it is. Um, when you're starting out, you want to start out with this kind of yarn. Just the regular yarn. Um, this one was a little tricky to work with at first, so I wouldn't start there. I would start here with the recommended um, hook. Okay, so if you've made it this far, thank you. Um, 
you know what, I'll, I'll just do a hidden giveaway if you want these three hearts, or five hearts. Um, just leave me a comment and like it. So, so give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment and I will do a random drawing. And, um, let's see, today is, well, whatever day I post this video, because I, I am trying to cap, get some up record pre-recorded so I can get them in there when I, um, when I can. So, <laughs> so after this gets posted, I will leave it up for three days. And after the third day, I will draw names and I will send the winner the hearts. Okay. So, um, thank you all for watching. Have a great day. God bless you and yours. And I'll catch you in my next video. Bye for now.